Thanks for watching, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. How is it even possible that for the second week running, the Sunday morning politics shows failed to raise with the minister and viewers the government's planned anti-strike laws, which will reduce the democratic right of workers to take industrial action, forcing people to work against their will and allowing them to be sacked if they won't submit. And take a look at this. Today I'll introduce uh, minimum safety levels and service levels for key public services. The government is deliberately conflating minimum safety levels with minimum service levels in order to create confusion and con the public. Listen again. Today I'll introduce uh, minimum safety levels and service levels for key public services. Unions representing health workers never strike in the absence of agreeing minimum service provision with employers on a voluntary and mutual basis. We've just seen striking paramedics rush from their picket lines to save a patient having a cardiac arrest. So if this legislation was about patient safety, it simply isn't needed. But this bill isn't just about health workers. It will significantly restrict the democratic right of workers to strike in education, transport, border security and other sectors, robbing millions of workers of their basic right to withdraw their labour. It's unthinkable and almost certainly illegal. And for any government minister to suggest lives are likely to be lost if a train doesn't run or a teacher walks out or if we've got a long queue at Heathrow is completely insane. Never underestimate how thick this lot think we all are. Sunak's Victorian government is declaring war on working people. And it's no coincidence his government is planning this outright attack on British liberties at the very moment workers across the country are standing together and saying enough is enough to the biggest drop in living standards since records began. Saying enough is enough to the highest taxation since the Second World War. Saying enough is enough to wages falling at their fastest rate for more than two decades. And remember, all this comes on top of a decade of soaring food banks, poverty, homelessness, falling life expectancy and wage stagnation under successive Conservative governments. And Sunak's plan to rob millions of workers of their democratic right to strike comes on top of his public order bill, which will treat peaceful protests like knife and gang crime. And his Bill of Rights bill, which will reduce human rights protections and government accountability. All measures deliberately designed to restrict opportunities for individuals and groups to express their opposition to the government.